wash, always smelling like gasoline, always ready for who knows what, or there's propane. What we have is the propane generator at $100 off from Furman. This is a 4,100 watt portable generator. There's lots of fun ways you can use a generator, like the video here of camping, but also it's great to have in case of an emergency. Maybe you have some medicine that you need to keep cold. You gotta have it cold with the rear refrigerator. This is also the most thoughtful gift you could ever get somebody who's in that situation. We do have lots of flex pay today. You've got it at $139.99 for five interest free payments. However, if you have uh, an HSN card, we're doing VIP financing where we will give you an entire year to pay it off with no interest. It's $58.33 a month on even payments. Make sure you pay it off before the year is out to get no interest. We're gonna introduce our special guest, Justin Hyatt. And Justin, welcome. I have to be honest, generators is not the thing I know the most about. You don't know anything about generators? I do not know anything about generators. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. But I know a lot of my neighbors have, and my coworkers have a generator, but I personally felt very nervous about keeping gasoline at the ready in my garage. Yeah, well, who wants to have open gas containers? And frankly, they only last a year in your garage. So you think about, well, I'm gonna stock up and get ready. Now I've got gas tanks in my uh, garage. If you have a garage that you're gonna leave them in, it's stinky, it's unsafe. Right. How would you like to just be able to have a 20 pound little propane tank that you pick up at your local gas well, station? Well, we've got one by the grill. Exactly. We always have a propane tank. I'm disconnected from your barbecue. <laughs> yeah, my barbecue. And the same exact <laughs> connection is the same way that you're gonna connect it to your generator. Oh, really? And it's that simple and easy. And then you know what? You can go and take it back and replace this and your propane will last 10 years it burns cleaner, so less maintenance it's you have to worry about. It's very inexpensive propane, too. Yeah, so, it costs, so it's the same kind of connection as a grill? It's the same exact connection as a grill. The same way you connect it, it's going to go ahead and connect to your generator. All you have to do is go ahead and disconnect it here, and then that's what's powering your generator. So it burns cleaner, which means when you're thinking about gas, you have to worry about draining the fuel lines. Don't leave any gas in there, it'll go bad. Oh, uh, yeah. that's, that's stuff that you don't want to think about. When you, right, like, for exactly. you and I, and for you, you're like, when I want to use my generator, <laughs> I just want to go ahead and connect my propane and for it to work. And that, yeah. or, or, or any fuel, propane being one of the easiest to do because you can store multiple of these small, they're, they're completely closed off and last right. you a very long time. So could I have more than one tank? Yeah, go, you can get as many tanks as you want. The, each tank it can last you up to 14 hours running on this generator. So what can I power with the generator exactly? So we're talking, and that's the biggest thing about this, is we're gonna be, and talk about big, we're talking about big appliances. This is why you don't wanna get something that's, you know, could be considered like a power station, right? This is something that is going to be able to power your major appliances, your refrigerator. So you can you'll be powering your refrigerator, this could be powering your portable AC unit. We're coming up to winter time. So a lot of you are thinking about what's gonna happen if I get snowed in or I lose power when the, the, the power lines go get full of ice. This is gonna be able to power your heater as well. well. I was gonna say, I've got an air conditioning unit that has a heat, it can be heat, air conditioned, it's portable. Yeah. So I could plug that in because you don't wanna be no power in the winter you can, either. You can plug that in and you can go ahead and have it connected from your generator, have, obviously have your generator outside running all the way inside. Um, and the best part about this one is how easy it is to start. So a lot of you kind of think about generators as the yanking and the cranking to get your generator mm -hmm. going, all you have to do is it's literally an electric start. So I like to talk about it like it's turning on your car. The first thing you do when you're turning your key is your battery turns on, right? So I'm gonna hold this red switch down for three seconds. One, two, and three. And then this black switch is basically like my ignition switch. I have a little choke over here which would be kind of like my gas. And that's, now you've got your generator running, just like that. So now what we can do is we can start plugging in everything. So we can go ahead and plug in, for instance, if we want to, we can plug in just your regular extension cords. Check out the lights behind me, guys. You ready for this? Oh, look at that. Huh? So you talk about the, the fun stuff. If you need light for emergencies. Justin, unplug it and plug it in again. I don't think we got it on the camera. Oh, there they are. Go, go ahead and plug it in, up here. Oh, look at that. Wow. Let there be light, Helen. <laughs> that is a lot of power. Wow, that's And impressive. then all of our other little appliances, like oh, our like phones and our tablets and our fans. Oh, the fan is going Can be running now. off of our generator. So the fan, the tablet, the cell phone. 
Right. So right now it's powering all those lights, mm -hmm. the lamp, the tablet, the cell phone, and the fan. And our fan, and we talked about winter right around the corner, it's a 1500 watt industrial heater. This is like what you find outside of bars to keep people warm when it's freezing out. You can go ahead and plug this in as well and start heat heating you up. So this could be a okay. heater inside your we home. We do not need a heater outside in Florida right now, no. but yeah, but no, you're right. The, the sun is enough for us. But this is <laughs> yeah. just a taste of what you can do. And in just a second, we're gonna show you all the big stuff that we're talking about inside your home. But you can be running all of this, your lights, your electronics, keeping your communication, your fan, your other lights, your outdoor lights if you think about fun stuff even your power tools when we think of an emergency situation Helen yes here in Florida all the trees down the limbs down sometimes you can't even get out of your garage there's neighborhoods around here in Florida that they lose power kind of on a regular basis it's not even just you know once every three years with a hurricane it's because of you know various local power whatever if you live near the beach the water but also in the winter if you there's a lot of trees and they get iced over the, mm -hmm. the power lines the trees go down and then what do you do because there's lots of things where you need power for emergency right like if you've got medicine that needs to be refrigerator and your power goes out all right you might be hot or cold, but your medicine that you, you can't live without mm -hmm. needs to be, you know, refrigerated. Without a doubt. Uh, your baby formula, dietary issues. Right, if you need exactly, to eat certain yeah. food. And then, you know, what, what do we do when we're getting ready for emergencies? We stock up on food. So when we get back here, I want to show you again how to start it up and why you want to keep it about 20 feet away from your home. And we're going to have extension cords that we go and plug in and mm -hmm. connect. You can even have an RV connected to your, uh, to your generator. That's that's what you can have with the power of this generator. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you again how easy it is to start. Now this is our electric start. This isn't the cranking nor the yanking. It's literally just a push start. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the battery on again. One, two, and three. Keep in mind this is running off of propane, something you can go ahead and disconnect from your barbecue and then connect to your generator. And then we've got our generator going, just like that. So now all I have to do Start plugging everything in. And then Helen, we're gonna take a walk inside. Okay. So this All right, is so your generator safety reasons should always be outside. Always be outside. Everybody hear in, that? Yeah. Always outside your generator. You always keep it outside. Yeah, don't put it inside a garage, leave right. it 20 feet away, don't point it at any windows or any doors. But then we're talking about, okay. You're powering the refrigerator you right now. You were thinking small refrigerator. I was thinking one of those ones my daughter has in her college dorm. Yeah. I wasn't thinking like this kind of refrigerator. No, this is a full and size. And this for 14 hours? So you can, so right. So you're thinking about, we've got a 3,300 running watt generator that you're picking up. This will run at about 900 watts. Okay. So, I mean, that's about 30%, okay, what you're running. You can be able to run nearly, you know, 12 hours constantly, but your generator was set cool for four hours. Your refrigerator was your refri Yeah, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> I know what you meant. Yeah, sorry. So you your can cool it and then unplug it, and without opening it, it'll stay cool for four hours. Exactly. So instead of screaming at people oh to keep gosh. the refrigerator yeah, closed, cold. everything's going to stay cool. Your eggs, your drinks, your ice, all of the, you know, the, the chicken or steak or meat that you have in here that you just spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars That's on. what I'm talking about, medicine. Yeah, my sister has type 1 diabetes. This is something that, right. you know, if you know somebody who needs right. to keep medicine, it's not a, it's not an afterthought. This is the first thing right. you're thinking of, how do I prepare right. for that emergency situation? Because it's not about, like, if it's going to happen. It, it's, it's What about when. those breathing machines? Yeah, your, like uh, a, what are they called? Your CPAP, CPAP machines? your, uh, like, I have a nebulizer, so for asthma. I have a nebulizer that plugs in. It's a home nebulizer yeah. that you plug in. Yeah, I didn't even think of, you could plug that in for well, sure, right? You can be plugging in tons of stuff. And so it, what do you do? You run a cord into your house so we'll, from the outside. Correct. So okay. you get it, you pull it out, you can wheel it out. It's got a really nice, easy, ergonomical handle, no flat wheels. You pull it out 20 feet away from your home. Right. You power it up. You grab your, obviously, your propane and connect that, which could be living Can you just leave it in barbecue. the middle of your yard? So what's great about it is if it's pouring raining in a, yeah, in I was a storm, say, does that have to be if covered? it's snowing, okay. if, it's, if it's sleet, whatever weather it is outside, you don't have to cover it. Leave it outside. Okay, and this 20 is feet away from your 20 house. 20 feet away from your and home. And then you run the line in, and they can plug anything into it. Yeah, and these are actually been tested in okay. temperature-controlled rooms. So they do extreme heat, 
and extreme cold to test all of these. And they actually have been tested to run for 500 hours straight right. to just test everything. And they're and they're made by Furman, who's literally... Yeah, tell us about the brand a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so Furman has... Uh, th their parent company's made over 10 million generators worldwide. So they, they've been around for a very, very long time. And everything about Furman... And this generator is built by Furman. They do nothing but build a generator. So they eat and sleep. And what they've done is they actually have taken all of these questionnaires from all of their existing customers to build what we have today. Something right. that's easy, right. small, compact, but powerful enough to run everything that we're looking at here now. Our refrigerator. And then behind us, for instance, our coffee maker. <laughs> okay. Well, this to me is like what camping should be. Yes. A coffee maker, a microwave, and a blender. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about a lot of, obviously, the extremes. Clamping. But going clamping. <laughs> right, getting off the grid, right, going yeah. out and having fun, going right. tailgating. It's tailgating, football season. Tailgating, you could use it, yeah. Uh, so so could you put it in the back of a pickup? Yeah, put it up. I'm not a big guy. I was able to pull, I, I was able to put it into my car. I'm not a big car. guy either. I don't know if I could, but you were able to lift it up and put it yeah, in. Yeah, and so you go How ahead. How much does it weigh? Yeah, it's 112 pounds, it says on my car. It's 112 pounds, but I think right. with this, is it's something that's powerful, compact, but portable. I like having something that's right. portable. Yeah. Maybe I need to go and I need to take it somewhere off site. Maybe it's for somebody else that's out of power mm -hmm. and we need to go ahead and have pl the tools plugged in. This is the adversity, diversity or the, you know, ability that you yeah. have instead of spending $5,000 on a generator that's stuck inside your home. You know what right. I mean? Well, what Maybe are your we can't choices? all afford if a $5,000 generator. Right, I was going to say, what's the difference between a $5,000 generator mm -hmm. and this one? It's $100 off, by the way. You get a year to pay it off with VIP financing. What, I mean, there's got to be something that the $5,000 one will do that this one won't do. Well, of course, you were talking about connecting natural gas to that or, you know, gigantic propane tanks or these are things that if you really think about investing $5,000, okay, but not all of yeah. us have $5,000 right. to connect to a, a and generator that's not to our what home. I would do with $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a lot of great things. things. But, but I do love the idea of emergency preparedness. I, I, and I got to tell you, you know, it's not it's about planning now, not not waiting till tomorrow. Well, that's the other thing. When the emergency happens and you don't have powers, neither on power, neither to, neither to any of your neighbors and they all run to the same store. And you mentioned your neighbors? Yeah. You, how you always think, oh, well, who has a generator that I can go right, to? Right, right, right. When we lose power, who can you who are that person. Right, you know right, that right. you can get this set up. And right. I think that's one of the best parts about having propane is that I don't have to worry about spilling gas or having to worry about right. keeping gas in, in, and that in is my easily garage. accessible. I know we get our propane from like the local home store, or whatever. You, I, I pick it. I pick mine up at a, a regular gas station down the yeah, street. Yeah, it's yeah. Twenty bucks to refill it, and I can have as many that I want, and not have to think about okay, where am I going to keep it? Can I store propane in the garage safely? You can, that's one of the big best parts about it. Is you can store your propane in a garage for up to ten years, and it's still oh, going to be good. Ten years, so I yeah. can have one can in up to ten years. Yeah, and, and gasoline's only one year. Gas is only one year. It's open container, and that's you worry about. Spilling it, and, and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gasoline. It's gasoline, right. <laughs> it's gasoline, it's right. Gasoline, we know what gasoline yeah. is, yeah. Um, okay. But again, back to like what we can power even just our generator with. We've got a major right. refrigerator. Right. So, you know, even if you're just powering your refrigerator, it's about 900 watts. You got 3,300 watts, so you can be plugging in uh, a, an additional heater, right. AC unit, all of your other appliances, right. like a microwave. So if we want to be able to go and start, we got food in our freezer, food right. in the refrigerator, we want to go ahead, of course, we're just going to use pop. Corn, but if we want to use um, a microwave, this is pulling a lot of power. So this is being powered by the same generator right now that's powering that refrigerator. Again, exactly. Everything that you're seeing here is powered by one generator. That's so impressive. We, so uh, Mr. Orville will be done in just a second here. We're going to have right. our coffee maker going as well, our blender, and then our TV. And again, keep in mind, you can still have a heater and AC unit. So will this this TV is now powered? Yeah, I'm gonna, I can turn can it we on. We don't, have any, we don't have anything going, but I just, oh, just, okay. just the idea. That, of course, this could be just a night outside. Well, like you could have a DVD. In the you could play a DVD in there yeah, or whatever. Or, yeah. And powering your Wi-Fi router. So 